did you learn about leadership from Donald Trump? In this video, I want to point out the really simple lesson every leader needs to learn from what happened after the 2020 election, so you can avoid unintended consequences and be the best leader you can be, which is what I'm all about here at Leadership Jetway. On Friday night, we learned that Donald Trump has been subpoenaed by the Congressional Committee investigating the 6th of January storming of the Capitol. I'm not going to get into whether President Trump was acting illegally or in his own self-interest or whether he genuinely believed the Democrats had stolen the election and it was his duty as president to call that out. No, I want to look at a particular leadership lesson for those of us in much more normal roles. And that is this. Your words matter. Whether you have a team of three or a country of 300 million. If you're in a leadership position, what you say and how you say it has massive impact on the people around you. In Trump's case, repeatedly saying he thought the election was stolen fostered and fomented that opinion in his supporters. For the rest of us, whether we express disappointment or hope, whether we focus on the opportunities or the problems, whether we portray anger or resilience really matters. If we're always talking about controlling costs, everyone will get worried about the financial position. If we're always recognising and praising innovation, people will start coming up with more ideas. And like I said, it sounds simple, but there's a more complicated layer. It's not just what we say and how we say it. It's what they hear and what they think it means. If you and me are looking at a cone, but I'm on the side and you're underneath, I see a triangle and you see a circle. We're talking about the same thing, but our own personal perspective colours and shapes everything which makes leadership communication even harder and makes your words matter even more. But in leadership roles, we're lucky. There's a solution. We get the chance to learn from people and shape our words accordingly in every conversation with them. In my expert pack PDF, there's a simple framework for a great one-to-one -one meeting where you can really build understanding and connection with your people. And it forces you to listen to your colleagues as much as you can, because doing that helps you choose your words in ways that will have the impact you want, and not the impact you don't. And if you want to choose some great words about leadership, I've written a book about 170 of them. It's called Leadership from A to Z, and I talk about it in this video here. So you should go and watch that next.